Having enough money to live your life on your terms might be a sign of financial freedom. Nobody, however, wants to live on an absurdly low salary. Why not put more effort into working and earning rather than trying to save money on trivial expenses? And how can you tell when you are financially independent? Your financial goals can be divided into minor victories to help you to stay on track and make the process more doable. For today's video, I'm going to share with you the 8 stages of financial freedom. Want to know more about it? Just keep watching! Before we continue, if you are interested in improving your financial knowledge to get the life you want, make sure to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell notification for more entertaining animation videos. Stage number 1. Having some savings Having amassed an emergency fund is the first step toward financial freedom. This should take place following the repayment of any high interest debt. Unfortunately, millions of Americans actually do live paycheck to paycheck. Poor financial management can be a serious issue. Throughout the course of the year, the majority of us will experience some unforeseen events such as auto repairs, medical expenses, or even a loss of income. You will reach the first stage of financial independence by having an emergency fund that will help you during those kind of situations. The ability to pay for unforeseen expenses is a significant improvement. Stage number 2. Sufficient funds for a break Financial independence is the capacity to make working optional, at least briefly. It can be a huge task to save enough money to leave your work permanently, but it's not impossible. Gaining enough money to be able to take a break from work is a significant step toward achieving complete financial freedom, though it can take some time. Stage 2 does not empower you to leave your job permanently, but it is nevertheless reassuring to know that you can take a little leave of absence. On stage 1, if you stopped working, you'd probably be in the streets. If you had this stage of money, you might be able to launch a business take a pay cut to pay for a better job opportunity in another industry or further your education. Stage number 3. Enough to be at ease while still saving. This is more about living a fulfilling life while working and having the resources to do so. When you're making enough money to save while you're doing many of the things you enjoy and still have extra money at the end of the month, it's incredibly relieving. Even while you'll still need to put in work to continue accumulating wealth, you'll feel more at peace knowing that you have money left over after taking care of all of your expenses and investing some of it. You can utilize these funds to advance the date of your financial independence or you can simply decide to spend your discretionary income on whatever you like. Stage number 4. Enough to reduce the amount of work required. More scheduling flexibility is what a lot of people want. Financial independence and time freedom go hand in hand. If both of them involve quitting your job to pursue your passion or spend more time with your family while maintaining your financial security, they should be considered together. It could take the shape of more flexible scheduling with paid time off, working from home occasionally, or simply working less hours overall. Some people would really benefit from not needing to take a day out of work, let's say, go to the dentist or take their child to the doctor. More scheduling flexibility is what a lot of people want. Financial independence and time freedom go hand in hand. If both of them involve quitting your job to pursue your passion or spend more time with your family while maintaining your financial security, they should be considered together. It could take the shape of more flexible scheduling with paid time off, working from home occasionally, or simply working less hours overall. Some people would really benefit from not needing to take a day out of work, let's say, go to the dentist or take their child to the doctor. This degree of independence could be obtained through employment but self-employed people are more likely to be able to change their schedules and decide how much and when to work. Stage number 5. Enough for a modest retirement. 
Consider what a modest retirement will look like if you want to retire early. Could you relocate to a region with reduced living expenses? Would you stop frequently going out to dinner? Aim on building a nest egg that will support the way of life you have chosen. It can be comforting to know that you might survive if you were to move to that remote cabin in the woods without running water, even if you'll probably decide against doing so. It will also affect other decisions you make about your life down the road if you have enough money saved to at least maintain a certain stage of living in your early retirement. Stage number 6. Enough to comfortably retire. What would you need to maintain your current quality of living in retirement, presuming you're doing okay and are satisfied with it now? What if, after retirement, you want to spend more money than you do now? Travel expenses are likely to go considerably up if you enjoy traveling to the extra time off and flexibility you have. You'll probably discover yourself dining out more frequently, playing golf, engaging in other pastimes, and discovering new ways to spend money. A major victory is being aware that you're on pace to build up a nest egg to maintain that way of life. Those who have committed enough assets or passive income sources to be in a position to retire comfortably win gold medals. Stage number 7. Enough for a lavish retirement. What would your ideal life look like if you didn't work 40, 60, or more hours a week? Would it involve activities like taking more trips and spending more time with loved ones? It costs money to travel the world, fly first class, and stay in upscale accommodations. A second property in the mountains or on the beach doesn't help either. What would truly make your life happy? Even if you don't seek out luxury, obtaining this stage of financial freedom will increase your stage of comfort. Stage number 8. More money than you could possibly spend. The highest degree of financial freedom is at this point. Ideally, your strategy for financial freedom will enable your assets to outlive you as they ought should. It's wonderful to have more money than you anticipated to spend. Another is to create a large enough wealth so that you could not waste it all. When you can buy everything you desire, you know you've reached this stage. You don't even consider the price of items at this stage. This can entail having several mansions, a private plane, or a big yacht. People who won a sizable lottery, inherited a wealth, or who are business founders like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, or Jeff Bezos are likely to make up this group. They would struggle to spend it all, even if they went on a spending spree. In fact, the majority of your mental effort would likely go into figuring out how could you possibly spend that much money. For one reason or another, the most of us won't succeed in reaching this stage. But if you'd still desire to do it, you shouldn't let that deter you from trying. Consider where you believe you stand in terms of financial independence and use that information as encouragement to continue working toward your most important financial objectives. Even though you might adore your job, it's practically a given that you'll be happy at work if you have a choice. You'll feel more at ease knowing that, especially later in life, you could always retire and lead a happy lifestyle. Because it's such a broad concept, the majority of us have various ideas of what financial independence actually entails. Utilize these achievements as a roadmap to help you assess where you are, inspire you, and provide you with a sense of direction you're aiming to go. See the video description for our best videos to boost your finance knowledge. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more entertaining animation videos. Thanks for watching!